sunny Florida at Typhoon Lagoon. Uh, in a minute, there's going to be a huge massive wave over there, and me being me, I'm going to be doing a hair assist test. So, uh, let's just check everything's okay at the moment. Are we all right? Are we okay? All right. Follow me, and I'm. Oh, here we go. Uh, water went straight up my nose, but we're still okay. More tests later as the holiday goes on. That's a big one. Here we go, one more, and I'm going to turn around and face the music again. Here we go, oh my god. God. <laughs> That's mental. I think that must have been about, um, I don't know, 10 waves I reckon, maybe 15. And uh, it's been a hell of a bomb, what can I say? <laughs> Still on. <laughs> oh, it's a little minor wave. Oh, I can handle that one. Right, more tests later. We got a few more water parks to do before the vacation's out. So uh, that was Typhoon so Lagoon. We're back in our humble abode, back at the house now, and uh, once again, it's really fluffy because we've been swimming. But under these lights, you can see what a Great hairline it still looks. Very natural. More fun tomorrow. See the movement of my hair.
So, uh, just the last bit of the video now uh, for this holiday. Uh, we've come to the end of our two weeks. We've been here for about 14, 15 or 14 days. So, we've been on lots of roller coasters, water parks, and I just want to show you now the hairline before I redo it, before we return home. Um, so, I just want to show you everything, warts and all, if you like. So, just to show you, after two weeks of punishment, can see um, I've done a video on this already but it's been a kind of um, a stage by stage uh, sort of static shot video this will be a bit better for you to see it um, you know at, in sort of video format um, with me doing it live but basically you can see that the after you know all these water parks and all the roller coasters a dirty hairline is what I call a dirty hairline has formed I'm going to show you now how to clean that up and get it back to normal. So we're going to use a bit of this first of all, lace release. So we'll spray this directly through the lace because the bond is actually still pretty strong. So I'm going to, so I, I need that just to help me lift the lace at the front. Sometimes the bond is, you know, has lifted already, so you, there's no call for that product. So if you need it, it's best to just do that. I'm just going to put a little bit of warm air to dry the lace a little bit. This helps um, keep the adhesive sticky, which will you'll see in a minute how easy it is to get off the lace. Turn that one off. So, what we do then? is with the finger, very gently, just roll the glue away from the edge of the lace. Just roll it all down. Don't sort of push it up into the hair because you'll have a problem trying to get it off the hair there. It's much easier if you roll it away from the perimeter. Just very gently, like this with your finger, just roll it down. As I said, I mean, I've uh, after two weeks of punishment, it's still pretty stuck down. In all honesty, in all honesty, I've done the front hairline. Uh, I did it last week. I did the same thing last week, and I and this is just only the second time in two weeks I'm doing it. So that goes to show you just um, how good a bond you can achieve. So let's spend a little bit of lace release on. Now a little bit of cotton wool to help remove the old glue from your skin. Again, just rolling it down. I, mean, I use cotton wool because it just stops um, stops your fingers getting all gooey. But you know you don't have to use cotton wool. You can use a towel, I guess. And then just a little bit more scalp protector. This actually gets rid of the sort of stickiness. Now actually, because I have been over punishing this one, there is a little bit of glue in the hair itself. So I'm just going to spray a bit more um, lace release solvent into the actual hair itself, just to kind of then comb it out basically. I mean, they're, they're just doing this, what I'm doing now, probably most people would probably do it every sort of three weeks or every two weeks, something like that. Some people are really lucky and they, they go a whole month without having to do it at all. It just depends on your lifestyle, really. And of course, because my lifestyle over the last two weeks has been pretty hectic with the heat of Florida and also the um, water parks, roller coasters, lots of sweating, that sort of thing. Um, you know, I've given it a, a real good punishing. So, now that's all clean, as clean as we can get it. I mean, luckily for me, the glue hasn't seeped through the lace into the hair itself. If it does, then the only way to clean it properly is to take the whole thing off. But really, you don't have to do that if you're just doing a little touch up. That's perfectly clean enough. That's now nice and clean. So what we do then is pop the front back down. You can use eyeliner pencil or you can just use a comb. So in this case, I'm gonna use a comb, so I'll just where the edge of the lace is, I'll just put little indentations around where I need to glue up to. Just 
just so you can see, that's it. Then we've got a clip, I'll just hold this out of the way whilst gluing. There we go, a little bit more scalp protector. Just before I apply the glue. So okay, right, so now just the, the glue itself. So now you can apply the glue, very thin coats when you're only doing a the front bit, but I'm gonna use uh, a little spatula. So you just paste it a very very thin coat up to where you've done your little indentations, if you can see that on camera, those little indentations that the comb has made. Gotta be quite kind of artistic, I guess, quite careful at this point because you don't want to put the glue too far forward. Um, so that when you roll the lace, the lace, you know, the, the glue's down here and the lace is up there, then obviously you're going to get glue in the hair, which is not a great look. So you've got to be quite accurate with it. But practice makes perfect. As I said, you really only need a very, very thin coat because if you're going to do this every week, every two weeks, every, you know, you're not going to need lots and lots of glue. I mean, just remember, the more glue you put on, the, the more cleanup, the harder the cleanup is going to be. But the glue is a water-based adhesive, which I've said before in previous videos. It kind of goes on like a white milky paste and then it dries uh, transparent. I mean, never press the lace against the glue when it's wet because obviously you, you know, seep straight through the, the mesh of the lace and you know, have all sorts of issues then. The hairline won't look as good. I mean, ideally, you, you want to get the glue so it's literally like a millimeter in front of where the lace will sit. And you'll get the nicest hairline then. But already it's starting to uh, cure and go transparent. As I've said, I've shown this in another video, in a sort of stage by stage pictures, stills, picture stills. But uh, I think I've got the opportunity now to show you me doing it in the flesh, so to speak. I guess that should be enough. Now, of course, that needs to dry. So, warm air directly on the glue. This will help it go transparent. Already in places you can see it has gone transparent. I'll, um, this will take probably about five minutes. Right, so this will probably take about five minutes to dry properly. So I'll just pause the video and we'll come back just before I glue it down. Okay, so welcome back. Um, it's, uh, it's about five minutes of drying time now, so it's, it's basically ready to, uh, to stick down. Now, the most important thing is you must do the touch test first. Some people wait for it to go completely transparent, um, but I prefer to just trust my fingers. So if you just gently touch it like this, as long as you not really press hard or anything, but just gently touch it with your little finger, forefinger, as long as there's no glue on your fingertip, then it's safe to press the lace down without um, causing any sort of seepage issues, which as I said, can be a bit unsightly. So. Obviously the clip's been in for five minutes, so the hair is, needs to be reshaped after, but I'll explain that a little bit more. So what we need to do now is get our fingers behind the lace, and just very gently, very gently roll it forward. Like that. Now the most important thing now is to not get it wet for 24 hours, because the glue's a water-based adhesive, and it, and even though it's nicely bonded, you wouldn't want to go jumping in a swimming pool right now because it would uh, <laughs> it would basically go back to being like a white transparent colour again. 
that feels bonded anyway, straight away. So now I'm just sort of lightly putting the comb through it. I'm going to start gradually combing it back now, making sure that every edge of the front lace is down. Of course, because we have had the clip in, we need to restyle it. And the best way to, to style it is using uh, um, a conditioner. Uh, this one's a good one, Tresemme. Tell everyone that this is a good one. <laughs> Basically, just put a little bit in your palm like this. And like I said, as that clip's been in, we need to kind of reshape, restyle the hair. So you don't have to wash this out. This is like a, I just put this in and leave it in. But it, it just, because I mean, obviously we cannot put water on it, water at the moment, because um, <laughs> because the glue's not set for that yet properly. I mean, after 24 hours, it will form a waterproof bond um, and, it, and it will be fine to get your hair wet and go in the water parks, which I've shown, etc. But just for the next 24 hours from this point for me, I just need to uh, keep any moisture away from the base. So that's why the conditioner is great for this purpose. I actually use this on a, not every day, but I do use this as a styling um, aid anyway, because it's better than um, using gels and things like that. So let's, let's now style it into shape. There you go. Best thing to use, I and mean, I did use a, um, a, a comb briefly then, but actually the best thing to use to help style it is, uh, is a paddle brush or a, you know, or brush with kind of wide sort of teeth. This seems to be my favourite one, it's appeared in quite a few videos. <laughs> I always get these. So that is basically a live video of how to clean up a dirty hairline. That's after two weeks of punishment in Florida. We've had a fantastic time. Um, if you need any information um, on these hair systems or any information on how to style them, that sort of thing, then you can contact me at www.hairreplacementstylist.co.uk or alternatively you can email me um, at the underscore hr underscore stylist at yahoo.co.uk but as you can see that's all ready for another day's punishment really because although I've needed to do the front because it was showing that kind of dirty greasy hairline which is now clean the actual back and sides has, has, has remained absolutely fine and because you always wear the perimeters of the hair flat anyway you know that's that's still solid and that will be solid for another two weeks easily for me um, so if I can get a bit of a try and get a close-up of the hairline now under these lights just to sort of show you that uh, I mean the, the glue is still a little bit glossy at the moment but that's because it needs though, those 24 hours to set properly. Once it's set, that will go to more of a matte, matte colour finish. But for this purpose, that's, uh, I'd be quite confident to go out oops, into, the, uh, in, into the Florida high streets and, and, and show that off quite confidently. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, and uh, I'll see you soon.